Good morning. Welcome to a brand new day. It's time right now to go down and do the only reason I'm awake, and that is the continental breakfast. There's something about plastic tasting eggs at a hotel that just tickles my pickle. You know what I mean? Welcome to the Cecil Hotel, where dark stairways is just the beginning of the nightmare. The game plan today probably is. <laughs> Mix it up with the locals, get into some trouble, pull little practical jokes on some people, try not to get arrested, you know, the usual. It's time now to get to heading. Get to heading, to get to heading. The continental breakfast was terrible. No gravy, the turkey bacon resembled kind of like beef jerky, or should I say turkey jerky, okay? But moving on to bigger and better things. Right now, we're going to the beach, to the beach, to the beach. Look at the beauty, look at the beauty. The ocean is somewhere behind me right now, about to go see it. About two blocks away, two of them. Coming, driving down here, you can see the wall of blue. I'm not used to scenery, you know what I mean? I got a view of the city, not a view of the water, you know what I mean? The bathroom, little bathroom house behind me. If you wanna take a piss on the pier, cost you 75 cents I thought that was only a thing in Mexico but nah it's moving into the US paying to piss people then again I bought my room 160 a night I paid a jet eat jerk off all that stuff 160 a night so I need to get my parking pass and put it right here on the board of Dash. Been in trouble finding a parking spot down by the beach? Just do what I do. Come bright and early on a work day. And then when you get here, park way in the corner so you know exactly without question where the hell you parked. Park it in the back, bitch. Dude, you're paying to park for the day? It's okay, I don't come here every day. If I come back, it'll only be like once a year, once every two years. <laughs> Technically, you could probably pull up and just park and not buy a ticket at all or put an old ticket in your window, and it just looks like you got a ticket. It's, it's like buying a camp spot for the day. And this truck, it's my camper. Let's say you meet a hot chick in a dope piece of bikini, or maybe she's rocking a one-piece bikini, and, and, and the, the puppies are hanging out, and you're like, hey, lady, head back to my truck with me. Lay the seat down, and there you go. Actually, I've had SIX in here. It's easy just to leave the seat up. See the plane? That'd be kind of scary flying over the ocean. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's head down to the beach. There's a train coming in seven minutes, and it's headed to Boston. Hop on a train and get the fuck out of here. But there's nobody here to, at this station to like take a ticket or book you a ride or anything, so I'm assuming it's all on the app. I don't know if there's an Amtrak app, but I'm assuming there's an app. There's three smoking hot chicks in tight little yoga pants wearing backpacks behind me waiting on a train to Boston. So they came in on the train most likely, spent a couple nights here at the beach, and now they're heading out. 
pretty nice way to travel because you don't have to worry about it. I had a lot of stress driving through the damn mountains. These chicks slept on the way here or diddled each other. I don't know. some other chick were up on that platform train platform just for the purpose of taking pictures and videos so I'm glad it's not too uncommon and that was one stop at like 7 a.m. so I'm guessing people do it all day every day I just asked one of the guys that came off of that train where the train came from and the guy said it came from Portland he said it's perfect because it's six bucks for a round trip He said he can come in, drink some beer, enjoy the beach, and then go home. Burr. almost waist deep. I don't want to get my wiener bitten off by a shark, but look how mucky and brown the water is. Walking around with sand packed into your sandals is very uncomfortable. Ow, ow, ow. This place is very mom and pop. I haven't seen one thing all day yesterday or today that is from a big chain now last night when I first rolled up in my truck and turned into this little area someone I heard out loud damn near yell go back home Clear as day, I heard, go back home. Somebody on foot on the sidewalk said that. And my first thought was, please don't tell me someone just saw my Ohio tag. And there's some kind of stigma in the area. Locals only screw you if you don't know where you're going. And, but just a little bit of walking around this morning, everyone who's seen me has said hello. A lot of people are out here just walking their dog, chilling. This morning, you could see all over the town, kids with backpacks waiting on the school bus. And it was kind of a surprise thinking, well, I paid a toll to get off the freeway to come down into this town. So do these people who live here pay a toll every time they come home? If you stay in a room like that, you don't get ocean front. You get what's called ocean view. You can't just be wet in the front of your shorts. You gotta go in there so your shorts and the bottom of your t-shirt is wet. That way it doesn't look like you pissed yourself. I'm probably gonna get bit by a shark now. near-death experience a giant wave came and smacked me right in the face it literally tastes like someone poured salt into my mouth that's a good six-foot wave and uh, oh, sorry it's hard to concentrate on what I'm saying cause I'm taking a leak right now Ooh, that sure is warm family photos beautiful 
once again got me a job as an information liaison. He so thought I was a local. I just got a job as cemetery information liaison. He totally thought I was a local. Some guy just asked me if he could park back there. I said, probably not. This is for that hotel, sir. However, come over here to this park, buy your spot, and just buy it for the day so you don't have to worry about it. Just do what I do and you'll be just fine. This little spot I picked is freaking perfect. I basically have a little camp spot. I'm sitting here eating my redemption breakfast. And that guy just rolled up in that killdozer. And I thought, I guess I'm not getting bit by a shark. I guess I'm getting ran over <laughs> by a bulldozer. But nah, he stopped. Which is a good thing because I'm literally not wearing pants or undies right now because they got salt water all in them and they were kind of chafing the boys. So had to set them puppies free. <laughs> I am stuffed and almost in the buff. <laughs> it's time now to put my wet ocean pants back on and jump on the bike. Shit! I'll probably just, I don't have my backpack either, do I? Good thing I'm not pulling out of here anytime soon, because right now, I'm pinned in by the frickin' mailman, and he's pinned in by the killdozer. He rolled up in the killdozer, went in there and took a giant shit, and now he's leaving, so... Now he's doing God knows what for God knows what reason. And if God knows, that's good enough for me. For me, for me. Who would have knew? Even a fuck up like me can go from rags to riches. One day you're frying up hamburger and the next day you're riding bike beachside, baby. Who would have known? It's about noon 30, had to come back to the truck to rest a little bit, put my bike back. I raised my bike seat up super high and it felt a lot easier to go longer and to go faster. But damn, it made my fucking middle ass region hurt. Like, kind of like, you're not really sitting on your ass, you're like being held up by your taint bridge, you know what I mean? How come it's only when I get to a place like this do I have messages from almost everybody I know saying, Can you take me with you next time you go on a trip? Nobody ever wants to hang out with your boy. Nobody goes on my trips with me. I go to concerts by myself. Why? Only one thing happened. I got fat. Half the chicks tell me it looks handsome-ish. I'm charming as hell. I have minimal to no B.O. I'm freaking funny-ish. So what's the problem? Anyways, you get it. You get it, don't you? You don't need me to explain it, do you? When I say I'm going somewhere, baby, drop what you're doing and go with me. But now that I'm back in the crib, I notice I have sand in every nook and cranny. My assholes, assholes got sand up in it and probably will have for the next couple weeks. I know this truck is going to need vacuumed out about 18 times. You might be asking yourself, what's the point? the point? That is an excellent question. What is the point? The point is, 
I wanted my week off away from work. I wanted to come here. That's the point for me. But what's the point of making a video? Well, I'm gonna wanna watch it. Through the magic of video, I can see it again and again and again and again and again. Now, why talk to the camera and why make the video public? Well, talking to the camera allows me to connect with you just in case you want to connect with me. It's going to help me remember what I did while I was here back when I was that one age, back when I was that amount of fat, back when I was that amount of know-how and do-how. You get me? What's the point in trying to think of funny things to say when you're making a video? That's because a lot of zingers I come up with and the way in which I say them make me laugh. Point number one. Point number three maybe it'll make you laugh and if you do maybe you'll throw a bone my way you know what i'm saying i like getting bone so let's do that that's bony cheddar and i mean we're at the fucking beach you might as well make a memory of it you got a freaking camera in your pocket take a betcha oh yeah and the other question that came up what's the point of traveling alone i don't know if there's a point in traveling alone that because that was not the goal was i gonna not travel because no one wanted to come with me is there a point in not going because of that not for me there ain't i was coming company or not i am the fucking company the truth is i feel lonely about an hour a day but that's pretty much how i feel every day whether traveling or not and connecting with the dougalo nation people interwebbing texting calling stroking sucking that all helps too you never know you could be out just doing your craft doing your thing boo boo and the right person can be around the corner. I learned the hard way to just do me, pursue my own interest. And in the meantime, whatever's going to come my way as far as relationships go, is going to happen naturally as a result of who I am and the hustle I'm on. So, I guess that's the point, right? What is the point? The point is for you to eat my dick, okay? There's, there's no fucking point. That's the whole... That's life. What's the point? What's the point whether you shit out a couple of kids or you don't? They're gonna grow up to be dick cheddars anyway. Same fucking difference. Just like you're a fucking ball breaker. Your kids are gonna be assholes too. The world's still gonna suck. One way or the other. Okay? Company or not company, I still got a fucking double chin. I'm still addicted to everything bad for me. So, what's the point? That's the point right there at the tip of my finger. That's the only point I can give you. I tell you what, next time I travel, it's going to be in something like that. Headroom, stretch out room, room for a porta shitter, room for banging a local. Room for banging a fellow traveler. Room for banging yourself. And room for banging. You think I'm kidding that I'm not going to get a van just like that? Keep checking back, because I'm going to get a van just like that. Really, bro? Plus. Plus. Whew! Just chilling back at the hotel with the bare essentials. And still picking sand out of every crack's crack and every crevice's crevice. <laughs>